Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel where hedging peso matters. So today's topic is going to be a response to a request posted by Meow Meow. Bali ang pag-usapan natin would be the pivot floor indicator or yung pivot points. So first of all, ano ba itong pivot points? Pivot points are significant levels charts can use to determine directional movement and potential support or resistance levels. So ano, ba, ano naman ang purpose na itong pivot points? Purposes of pivot points are as follows. It determines an overall market trend. It identifies areas of support and resistance. It works best when combined with other kinds of technical analysis. And it is used for entry and exit points. So, we'll discuss that later later on. Now, I am using Ichimoku. So, yun ang gagamitin natin in combination or in conjunction with the pivot points. Ichimoku plus the pivot points. Yun pong ating technical analysis. Uh, indicator na gagamitin natin. So, here, ito po yung calculations for us to get uh, for us to get yung pivot point, right? Yung nasa gitna. So, we add the previous day's high plus the previous day's low and of course, the previous day's close and we average them. So, yun po yung pivot point natin. Para naman makuha natin yung resistance 1 and support 1. Ito po yung formula and so on right but of course we are more concerned on how we apply this now nagkaroon na po ako dito ng different modification kasi if gagamitin natin yung preset ng uh, investigram right ikita natin lahat color blue except the pivot point which is gray so ito yung uh, r1 r2 resistance 1 resistance 2 support 1 and support 2 so almost identical in colors so i changed the color in such a way that i can easily understand so ito po kapag ka resistance level laging resistance level ko mga acidic colors and here mga basic colors all right so Kapag nakita ko na nasa green or basic yung color niya, para sa akin, it would be an indication that I enter a trade. Kasi bumagsak na siya sa support level. Same thing in this part. Kapag pumabot siya dito, support level siya. So, reliable ba to na gamitin natin support? Yes, because look at this. It is near... Uh, the Kumo, the Senko Span A. So, near siya dito sa support na to, dahil near siya dito sa support, uh, it's good to enter this trade. Alright. But, for instance, dito ka pumasok sa trade na to, hinabol mo yung price, which is a, which is a no-no kapag nasa stock market ka. Nasa stock market ka, never chase the price. Now, nandito siya. So, without itong floor pivot, hindi mo alam kung are you supposed to enter or not? But, kaya meron tayong floor pivot para malaman natin kung papasok pa tayo or hindi. Look at this. Na-penetrate na natin to. Na-penetrate na natin itong resistance 2. Right? Diba sabi nga natin, ito yung pivot, ito yung pivot point, resistance 1, and resistance 2. In this scenario, na-penetrate na yung resistance 2. Some they are uh, they add a resistance three, right? Now, since the penetration to resistance three, I mean resistance two, chances are, magkakaroon ng correction, and the same happened. Nagkaroon yan ng correction. Prices went down, hanggang sa bumaba siya dito. Okay, so if you enter the trade here without considering without confirm without any confirmation candle dapat kapag nagkaroon always remember once na nagkaroon ng breakout sir isang resistance level dapat magkaroon ka or dapat magantay ka ng confirmation candle ano yung confirmation candle na yun the next day uh, the next day candle dapat mag-close siya above dito para ma-confirm natin na talagang breakout siya 
nitong na break niya na tong resistance na level na to. But if pumasok ka kaga dito, chances are ano yan, 50-50 yung chance mo. Hindi mo alam kung tataas or bababa kasi hindi pa nga confirm dahil wala pa itong candle na to. Now, kung inantay mo to at nakita mo nag-close siya below dun sa resistance level na to, of course, you won't end you won't be entering this trade anymore kasi alam mo hindi niya kinaya and nag-close siya below this resistance level, chances are the prices would go down dahil magkakaroon ng correction. And yun nga po ang nangyari, nagkaroon ng correction. Right? Here. Try naman natin, NRCP. NRCP, used also pivot points here. I entered the trade at 1.47. So, dito ako pumasok. Here, 1.47. Point of reference ko, since bumaba ito, and it closed here, hindi niya kinaya itong resistance hindi niya kinaya itong resistance level na to. So, when I entered the next day one, at 1.47, ang point of reference ko would be git sa loob siya ng uh, Tenken Sen and Kijun Sen. So, if bumaba man ang price hitting this 1.42 level, dito ka nag-set ng stop loss. So, now, I exited the trade at 1.75. So, ba't ako nag-exit dyan? Kasi nandito na siya sa resistance 2. So, sabi ko nga, most of the time, when it hit this resistance level, this resistance 2, pagkakaroon ng correction palagi. And prices would go down. Now, saan bababa yung price? Usually, bumababa po ang price here sa 10 Kensen. And... There are also times mababa po siya dito sa Kijunsen. Like this. Sa Kijunsen siya tumama. Bumaba from here, the price went down. Hindi niya na-break. Na-break niya to, but of course, hindi siya successful in breaking this resistance level. Kasi the price went all the way down. So the next day, bumaba pa rin. And even though nag-rest siya dito sa Tenkensen, it went down here sa Kijunsen. So, yan. Kaya, two days thereafter, I entered the trade at 1.47 and exited at 1.75. Now, ang uh, entry point ko would be at 1.60, yung malapit dito sa Tenken Sen. So, I'll be setting this as my stop loss, itong 1.49. Or, yeah, same, 1.49. Kasi, ang stop loss ko din sana would be uh, would be this uh, Kijun Sen and it so happened na tumama rin yung pivot point natin sa Kijun Sen so ito rin ang aking stop loss and target profit ko would be 1.70 if I'll be entering at 1.60 right so basically uh, ito yung general principles lang ng pivot points or floor pivot it serves as of course support and resistance level but it depends upon your discretion kung saan kayo magbabuy and sell so if you find this video informative give it a thumbs up and again thank you you may also would like to check my other videos